Hello, online family. How are y'all doing today? This is Rachel Stravelli coming to you live. And I am, this is going to be quick today because it's almost time for the bus pickup. So I am wondering, do you have a situation in your life or a relationship where you feel stifled or a little bit constrained or maybe even trapped like you don't know how to change things in the dynamic but it's not allowing you to be the fullest expression of yourself and you feel you feel like you want more for yourself but somehow you don't know what to do and this person is either always asking you to do things and you don't know how to say no or they're making you feel just drained and uncomfortable well, tonight, I'm going to be doing a free webinar, a 30-minute uh, class on this exact issue. And so we're going to be in the webinar. I'm going to have some teaching time and then Q&A time. But um, you ha it's not going to be on Facebook. It's going to be on a live Zoom call. So if you will either comment below or send me your email, I'll send you the link. And if you can't be there live, I can send you the replay. Uh, if you're not sure if you want to come, I wanted to give you a quick tip in case maybe you're busy and you don't want to do replays and you're like, no, just give me the information now. <laughs> so um, I have one thing to share, which some people think this method is not necessarily the best, but I think this is a good first method to start with. And sometimes it's the only method you can use. So if you are working on boundary setting and having better expectations that other people have of you and communicating these things, especially if you've spent a lot of your life people pleasing, this may be an area of growth for you, an area of challenge. You might even think, I am so bad at this. Um, and that's okay. I want you to be compassionate with yourself. I want you to acknowledge like, hey, you've gotten this far in life and you had this quality about you. So, um, so in some ways, maybe it has served you. So that's the first thing. And the other thing I want you to think about is some of the things that people do when they first start wanting to have boundaries is they either cut the person out of their life entirely or they avoid this person or they set very clear like, ways in which they are allowed in their lives and ways in which they're not. And it's funny because I was connecting with someone recently about this and they said they felt like this wasn't like the most mature way to handle it. But I kind of disagreed and I said, you know, depending on the person or the situation, maybe that is the best way that you can handle it. Or maybe this is the best way right now for you that you can address this. And so we all are in different places in life. We all have to come to things in a different way. And sometimes what I have done with people, if having conversations with them did not bring us to a point of uh, having a new dynamic in the relationship, then I would set my own boundaries of um, I might only hang out with them with other people if I noticed that one-on-one -on -one it was bad or I might uh, have like a time limit where I thought okay I'll be with this person for one hour and then after an hour I'm going to go because um, after an hour like things would degrade. And I actually, I have a friend who she, she does this with someone, although I think with that person, she told me it's like 20 minutes after 20 minutes, it gets really negative spiral and she doesn't know how to get out of it. And the other person doesn't get out of it. And so she just wraps it up in 10 minutes and, um, or before it gets to the 15 or 20 minute mark. So these methods, they, they might not be the be all end all, but it's a really good place to start. And if you're starting from feeling like you don't have good boundaries at all, everyone starts somewhere. And, and you can always improve and bring in new methods and new techniques. Um, but I think, and maybe this is where boundaries gets the name that it has, is because you are setting an, uh, uh, like a line in the sand with these people. And sometimes the only way to do that is physical distance or distance and communication. And, um, and there are people... Uh, I don't know about in my life personally, but I know some people who think I just can't have these people in my life. 
again, or at least for right now. And that's how I have to be to be healthy and happy. And I believe that that's okay. If, if that's where you are, I'm not going to judge you for that. Um, and I think that you knowing where your needs are and knowing what you're comfortable with and trying out new things, that's something to be, um, to be grateful for and to be proud of yourself for doing because some people never want to learn how to do it. Um, but you are interested in that, uh, in tonight's free online class that I'm doing. Oh, sorry. I got a little alarm there. Um, I am going to go into two more methods. I'll briefly touch upon this again. And so maybe it's actually three methods that I'm going to share three methods in 30 minutes. And as I said, if you can't be there live, there'll be a replay. Um, so just in the comments below, you can give me your email or send me a, um, a private message with your email and I would love to see you there. I'm going to end the class with Q and a, and, um, I'm pretty excited. I think it's going to be a good time. All right. Talk to you soon. Bye.